So over the last two years, I have booked thousands of sales calls and a very large element of why I was able to book all of these sales calls is by leveraging a process called a video sales letter, a VSL. So in today's video, you will be learning exactly how you can go out and build your own video sales letter, how you can implement it inside of your own sales process. And what this will do is by the end of this video, if you do implement everything I share with you, you will book more sales calls, you will sign more clients, and you will 100% make more money. So stay to the end, rewatch this video if you have to, take some notes, because this will be one of the most valuable videos talking about how to actually book more sales calls inside of your own business. So in today's video, we have the ultimate guide to booking sales calls using video sales letters. It's a step-by-step -step process, and this is the exact system, the exact strategy that I use inside of my own lead generation agency to consistently book 20 plus sales calls every single week in a wide variety of niches. I've tested probably 20 different niches at this point using video sales letters, whether that was for my own agency or for my client's business, and a video sales letter just works time and time again, right? It just works. And in today's video, I'll be sharing that with you, right? So please pay attention, go back and rewatch this video a couple times and take some good notes. Because if you implement this process, the way I share it with you today, you will see increased sales, your, your sales will skyrocket, you will have more clients, and you will literally make more money with your business. And 99% of people actually fail in business because they, they're just not able to get new clients and get new customers in a consistent way, right? And what that means is if someone, if a business isn't able to get new clients and not able to get more customers, it means that they're just not gonna be able to make any money, right? And the reason they fail is, the reason most businesses fail and they're not able to get more customers and get new clients is because they just simply have zero idea as to how to actually get people to buy what they sell, right? It's literally that simple because most people think that as long as they build a great product or they have a great service for sale, people will just line up handing over their credit card details and ready to send them thousands of dollars. But in reality, in the real world, that's just simply not how it works. And there's actually a very strategic way, a step-by-step -step process that you need to build out inside of your sales process that will get people to buy. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you the most important aspect of how it all works. So just to start, in order to get people to buy, there are two major things that you need to do, that you need to accomplish. The first is you need to generate attention, you need to generate traffic, you need to generate eyeballs onto what you sell. That's pretty straightforward. And the second aspect is demonstrating what you sell works and is actually valuable to the person who potentially wants to buy from you. Those are the two major aspects. And in today's training, we will be focusing on the second point, which is why it's kind of bolded over here because a lot of people know who you are, right? And um, that's pretty simple to accomplish if you're sending a bunch of cold emails or you're running ads or you're doing DMs or even cold calling, right? That's just how you generate traffic. But a lot of people, they might know who you are, but that is just one thing. That is probably the easiest part of the entire sales process because just because you get a million people or thousands of people to know what you sell and who you are, that also doesn't mean that they're just ready to send you thousands of dollars and give you their credit card. So how do you actually create interest so that people are interested in buying what you have to sell? Well, the answer is with leveraging something called a video sales letter. It's VSL for short. So in today's video, here is what we'll be covering. We'll be covering six important parts. The first is what is a video sales letter? The second part is how a VSL works. Number three is how a VSL would actually fit inside your own sales process, inside your business in a practical way. Number four is the VSL framework. So how do you actually put that together? Step five is the actual VSL script that you want to follow to get your VSL up and running. And finally, how to actually produce your VSL. So again, all of these six steps are extremely important. So make sure you stick around and actually take notes. So starting from the top, what is a video sales letter? What is a VSL? Well, I actually asked this to ChatGPT and it says a video sales letter is a marketing tool that, com that combines the persuasive elements of a traditional written sales letter with the engaging and dynamic qualities of a video content. Essentially, it's a video sales letter, right? So you're selling your service over a video that you are going to film, right? It's somewhat self-explanatory, but a video sales letter is a resource or an asset that will help you sell your service. You record that video one time, 
um, and you're able to post it on the internet, send traffic towards that video that you produce. And people, if you're doing it the right way, people are going to watch that video over the next few weeks, over the next few months, maybe over the next few years and build interest into what you sell. So the goal of the sales asset, the goal of the VSL is to build trust and build credibility with potential clients and potential customers, because there's a very specific series of steps involved in actually generating sales, right? Like in terms of finding people and taking someone who doesn't know who you are, getting them to know who you are, getting them to believe and trust what you sell and getting them to hand over their credit card details and send you thousands of dollars. So it's a very strategic series of steps at each of these points. So in terms of the actual sales process, just to really nail home this example, we're going to use the example of taking someone who doesn't, who doesn't know who you are and turning them into thousands of dollars. So literally a completely random person. So there's three steps. The first step is making that person somewhat interested in what you have to sell. So if you're driving on like the highways or the freeways and you see all of those billboard ads on the side of the road, that is how you get someone who's interested in what you have to sell. Or in this case, if you're using cold emails, if you're seeing the right things in your actual cold email, you're going to find people who are interested in hearing what you have to say, but that doesn't mean they're ready to buy. That's just step one, which is generating interest in what you have. Step two is making that person who's now somewhat interested in what you have to sell and getting them to be seriously interested, leading to them being interested and open to chatting with you or someone on your team about how it all works. So step two is turning someone who is maybe like a two or three out of 10 interest and getting them up to a seven or eight out of 10 interest. And as a result, they'll be interested in jumping onto a sales call to chat about how all of it works with you. Now, step three is getting them onto the sales call and then conducting that sales conversation. And by the end of that sales conversation, your goal is to quote unquote, close that client where you send them an invoice, they pay the invoice. Now you have a few thousand dollars and you're getting started and they become a client of yours or a customer of yours, right? So those are the three steps, but in order to actually build interest at each of these individual three steps, what you need to do in the back end is you need to create trust and you need to build credibility with the person who is going through that process. And on the reverse, you have to understand that no one will ever buy anything from you if they don't know who you are, if they don't trust you, and they, if they have never gotten any value whatsoever from you at all. If you don't have any of these three things, you simply, people simply just won't buy from you like ever. And where 99% of people go wrong is they try to sell a service and they hit on these points, right? People just don't know who they are. People just don't trust what they're saying. And people have never actually gotten any tangible value, not even a tiny bit from that person. And which is why 99% of people just simply fail and they're not able to get more customers, get new clients and bring cash flow through the door. So fundamentally, in order for anyone to buy anything, people need to do three things. People need to have a problem that they are looking to solve. And if you're selling lead generation agency services, obviously the problem is, you know, your clients or businesses, they're unable to generate more leads or generate more sales costs. That's the problem that they have. And the people need to realize that they have that problem and they want to solve it, which is why they'll be even interested in this in the first place with what you have to sell. If you're selling website, de website design, website development, people have to first realize that maybe their website just doesn't look that look that good or maybe their website just simply doesn't convert that well either. And now they're in the market looking for a solution to fix that poor looking website. So people have to have a problem that they're first looking to solve. The second point is people have to believe that you offer the solution to the problem. So again, right, I'm looking to build a website. If you sell websites, I have to believe that you are really good at building websites and you can help me solve my problem of having a really ugly and low performing website. And number three is people have to trust that you are the right person to help them solve the problem, right? Because in basically every single service that you can sell, whether that's lead generation, website design, Facebook ads, SEO, video editing, you have to understand that you're not the only person who is selling that service. There are probably thousands of people selling that exact same service as you, you know, some certain services have more competition than others. But the point being is there's always a bunch of other people, competitors, if you want to call them that, who are selling the exact same service to the exact same group of people. So you have to figure out a way to stand out and essentially sell your potential customers, potential clients on why you, why should you work with me and not John? or Peter, who in a way sells the exact same thing to the exact same group of people. 
So those are the three things that you have to do in order to get people to buy anything. And the purpose of the VSL, the purpose of the video sales letter is to demonstrate to potential clients that you can help them solve the problem, that you know what you're doing and you're the right person for the job. So a VSL essentially is a pre-recorded video that explains the outcome of the service that you are selling, the step-by-step -step process that will be taken to achieve that specific outcome and how the prospect can get started today. So that's the overall goal, the overall idea of a video sales letter. So how does a VSL actually work? So if implemented the way that I'm sharing in today's training, the video sales editor will do that all the heavy lifting, probably 90% of the heavy lifting in your sales process that will convert interest into buyers, into money in the bank. And the most important part of a VSL is it will get people to buy from you even if you don't have any case studies, right? So a lot of people, uh, whether that's on my YouTube or people that I work with, a very common question is they always ask me, so Jim, how do I get people to actually buy from me? I'm getting started for the first time with my business. I don't have case studies. I don't have experience. How do I get people to still pay me thousands of dollars? Well, the answer is with a VSL and leveraging the VSL the right way. Now, the reason why case studies work, right? So I first want to dissect why a case study actually works and why so many people use them and why people think that you need case studies, right? So the reason why case studies work is because what they do, what they accomplish, what case studies do is they create a level of certainty that what you are selling just works. So as an example, to really nail home this example is if I show you proof that other people are getting great results by implementing a VSL, by using what I'm sharing with you today, what will happen is you will become more certain that this process, that a VSL just works and it will work for you. So if I showed you this example of Tom's who implemented a VSL inside of his own lead generation agency and it led to him signing a client, which you can see in this example, in this picture, then what will happen is you will get more certainty that by you implementing a VSL inside of your own business, inside of your own lead generation agency, the VSL will be more likely to work for you as well. So again, right, in this case study, I'm sharing a real example of Tom's who implemented a VSL into his own sales process and was able to sign a client despite English not being his first language and not being great at sales. So this is an example of a case study or a testimonial. And if you think about what I just did here, what I'm doing is I'm sharing proof that this process works. And what that does is it increases the level of certainty for you that this process will work as well. But case studies is just one way to create more certainty. There's a million different ways to build more certainty and case studies is just the easiest way to do that. But obviously a lot of people, if you're watching this video, there's a very strong chance that you don't have case studies and that's completely fine. Everyone starts their business with no case studies because there's other ways to increase certainty and the main way to do that, the best way to do that, especially if you don't have case studies, is by proving that you are an expert at what you're talking about. So as an example, think about a time that you received advice or you received a suggestion from someone who you perceived as an expert at this field, at their field. So this could be a doctor, this could be a lawyer, this could be an accountant. And think about a time they gave you advice. What you probably did is you asked them a question they gave you some form of advice and you probably listened to that advice simply because you assumed that they are an expert at the subject matter field, right? Whatever it is that they're talking to you about, right? That they're just an expert. So what they did is they gave you a advice and you just by default assumed that what they said is the correct advice and is the best suggestion for you. And they didn't need to share any proof or case studies that the advice is valid, right? So for example, if you go to a doctor with shoulder pain and you ask, hey doc, I have some crazy shoulder pain. What can I do to get rid of the shoulder pain? And the doc gave you some form of medicine or antibiotics or whatever. You probably just listened to that advice and you're like, all right, sure, I'll just take this antibiotics and I'll be good after a few weeks. He probably didn't, the doctor probably didn't need to say, well, recently I worked with Peter who also had this similar shoulder pain and I gave him this medicine and he became pain-free after two weeks. The doctor didn't need to say that. All he had to do was just tell you that this is the problem that you're having, this is the solution, and by implementing or taking this medicine, this pill, everything will become good as well. They didn't need to share any proof that the advice is valid. And the reason why that this doctor or this person didn't need to do that is because they're perceived as a subject matter expert. 
And knowing this, you can actually create that same effect even without proof by showing that you are an expert at whatever service that you're selling. But how can you actually do that? Well, the answer is by providing as much value and giving as much insights upfront as much as humanly possible. And the reason why the VSL works so well is because you will be teaching people about the service that you are selling. And while you are teaching people whatever service that you're selling, these people who are watching that video will then perceive you as the expert by default. And when they are ready to buy, they will want to work with you since you are already the expert, right? If I want to work with a lead generation agency, I want to work with Jim. I want to work with Jimmy because he's just an expert and he gave me so much value upfront that he's the expert. He's the best person for the job. So in your VSL, it's super, super important that you are actually focusing on actually teaching people about your service. So you cannot be gatekeeping information. You can't be giving people a high level summary of how everything works. You need to be going in depth teaching people how everything works. So as an example, if you sell cold email lead generation services inside of your VSL, you need to be teaching people how to generate leads by using cold emails. If you are selling website design, you are teaching people how to design websites. If you are selling video editing, you need to be teaching people how to edit videos. If you're selling copywriting, you need to be teaching people how to actually do copywriting, right? And specifically, if you are selling cold email lead generation, by the end of the video, by the end of the VSL, the person who's watching your VSL should be able to go out, set up a cold email system and get results by themselves. This is absolutely key. A lot of people try making a video sales letter, they post it onto YouTube or they put it on their website, they send a bunch of cold emails and don't get results and they're not sure why. Well, the answer is because their video sales letter just simply isn't giving people value. They're talking about things too high level. They're literally just giving a short, five minute elevator pitch on why someone should work with you or work with that person to build out the cold email lead generation system. But that's just simply not how you convert cold traffic or people who don't know who you are. You need to be giving value inside of your VSL. However, the reason why people will still buy from you, even if you are teaching everything for free, right? So a lot of people ask me, so Jimmy, if I am teaching people how to build out a cold email system, why would they want to work with me? Well, the reason why they would want to work with you, even though you're giving all the information to them for free is because as people are watching through your video sales letter, people will realize that the process is just simply not as easy as it sounds, that it seems like there's a ton of work involved, that this entire process, building it out, will look like that it will take a ton of time. And even after someone watched your video and tried to do it themselves, they will spend a lot of effort, they will spend a ton of time and they might be doing something wrong or maybe they messed up messed up or missed a step and just simply won't see any results and they'll realize they'll decide that they would just rather pay an expert money to implement the process for them rather than doing it on their own and risk the process just not working as a whole so because you're perceived as a subject matter expert after teaching people how everything works by default people will want to work with you to implement the process. So as another example, just to again, right, really nail home this example is obviously I have a lead generation agency consulting program where I work with people to build out their lead generation agencies and sign the first client and scale to 10K per month. For me, I have a YouTube channel. You're probably watching this on YouTube or you found me on YouTube and I share all the information that people need in order to go out to build the lead generation agency. I share that for free on my YouTube channel. But the reason why people still want to work with me and pay me money to help them start their own lead generation agency is because the information is free. While all the information is out there, people realize that it's not as simple as just watching a bunch of YouTube videos and following all the steps and you will just instantly get results. That's just simply not how it works. People realize that everything takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. There's a very strong chance that even though people are following through all the YouTube videos and they do it themselves, they're just not going to get results because they never done it before. They don't know what they don't know. They're going to miss an important step, do something wrong. And before you know it, six months pass by and they just simply never got any results. That's why people still work with me, right? So that's literally an example of why, even though I share almost all the information for free, people still want to work with me and pay me money to help them and consult them to start their own lead generation agency. And the exact same thing applies for your own business, for your own service. People will realize that it's just 
not that easy and people want more direct support or in other cases want someone else an expert to implement the whole thing for them where they don't have to lift a finger so as a key summary for the vsl you are building credibility and trust by sharing as much value upfront about your service as possible you are teaching people a step-by-step -step process on how someone can go out and implement everything on their own you're actually sharing real value and real insights and what will happen is you will get people to pay you money to implement the process because they just simply don't want to do it by themselves so how does a vsl actually fit inside your old your your sales process right so the old way of doing cold emails if you're using cold emails to land clients or whether you're running ads or it doesn't really matter what you're doing to generate traffic let's just use cold emails as an example because i talk a lot about cold emails i use cold emails inside of my own business to generate clients so the old way is just by using a cold email emailing a bunch of random people online and asking for a sales call you're basically saying the cold email hey we can help you do xyz with cold emails if you're interested let's set up a time to chat and then some people they'll book you know a sales call and on the sales call people will just aggressively sell their services. And this is the old way of doing things. This probably worked like 10 years ago when competition was just significantly lower, but this process will simply not work today. It just won't work, right? I've tested this. It just simply doesn't work that well anymore because people just don't trust service providers that much anymore. They probably tried cold emails. They probably tried whatever service that you're selling and maybe they got scammed. Maybe they got burnt out before, or maybe they just tried it on their own and just simply never got results. So this is the old way. The new way, which is kind of what I'm sharing with you today is by leveraging a VSL. So you're using cold emails or ads or cold calling or LinkedIn to generate interest and you're reaching out to random people online. What you're doing is you're generating traffic and you're generating attention. And with that attention, with that traffic, you're driving that towards your video sales letter, where inside the video sales letter, you're legitimately educating people on the service. You're telling people and you're explaining to people what the end outcome of your service is, how they could go out and implement everything, all the steps, all the process by themselves and how they could get results. And what you're doing is just slowly educating people. And over time, people will realize that this stuff works. This process is extremely effective. It works really, really well. You're the, you're the expert. You have your authority inside this specific service and people will want to pay money to work with you. And then finally, after a while, people will want to book a sales call with you where on that sales call, people will come onto the sales call already pre-sold because they already understand your service. They watch through your video sales letter multiple times. They believe you, they trust you, and they're just there to pretty much get logistical questions answered. How much does this cost? What's the timeline? How does all of this work for them specifically? Stuff like that, right? And it won't be as much of a sales call as much as it is an enrollment call where people come on already pre-sold. So in terms of the VSL framework, so how do you actually build this out yourself? Here is kind of the overall strategy and the overall idea as to how you want to structure your video sales letter. Again, here is the positioning of your video sales letter. Right? This is what you need to do. And this is what you want to keep in mind. Don't say this in your video sales letter, but this is kind of your mentality, your mindset you want to go into as you are putting together your VSL. By the end of the video sales letter, whoever is watching that VSL, they will learn everything they need to know to implement the service that you're selling into their own business to achieve a very specific result. And while someone will learn everything they need to know, if they decide that they want to work on an expert to implement the entire process, the entire system without needing to do anything themselves, you can help them do that. That's the positioning that you have to have. And as you're building your video sales letter, you have to keep this positioning in mind. If you don't keep this positioning in mind, you're going to end up building a video sales letter that doesn't teach people stuff that doesn't have value and pretty much you're not going to create any interest. The video sales letter just simply won't work. And as you are putting together your VSL, there are also a few other things that you need to keep in mind. The first is your VSL needs to call out a very specific niche, a very specific industry, and a very specific group of people that you're selling your service to. It needs to be as relevant as possible to your target market. So it can't be a generic, we work with B2B businesses. That's simply not going to work. If you're working with recruitment agencies, we work with recruitment agencies to do boom, 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 boom. We work with marketing agencies to do X, Y, Z. We work with software companies to achieve X, Y, Z result. It needs to be hyper specific and hyper relevant. It can't just be broad. We work with every business under the sun to do boom, 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 boom. That just simply won't work. 
your VSL needs to be as relevant as possible, right? That's the over idea. And for your VSL to work effectively, if you are selling lead generation services, you need to be doing research on the market that you're selling to. So if you're selling to recruitment agencies, you need to understand how are recruitment agencies typically signing clients? What have they typically tried before? Why didn't it work the last time they tried it? And what outcomes are they looking to achieve? Right. And I use recruitment agencies, but these exact same questions need to be answered for whatever market that you're selling to, whether that's marketing agencies, software companies, IT companies, recruitment agencies, accounting firms. It doesn't really matter. You need to get all of these questions answered so that you can build your video sales letter as relevant as possible. Right. The name of the game is relevancy. If you're just making a generic video that is not relevant to any single person, again, it simply will not work. So if you don't do research and you just jump into creating a VSL right away with no prior information, with no prior data, you're just going to end up wasting all of your time because it won't be relevant to your market. So if you speak, if you try to sell your service to everyone, you're going to end up selling your service to no one, right? That's the over idea, right? Speak to everyone, speak to no one. But what you need to be doing is being as specific and as relevant as much as possible inside of your video sales editor. Because you need to be teaching people how your service works. And you first need to think about the key steps that someone needs to take in order to actually implement your process. So as an example, if you are selling cold email lead generation, you need to think about the key steps that someone needs to take in order to build out a cold email system inside of their business. You need to summarize those steps. So for example, you shouldn't copy this, but this is an example, right? If I am selling cold email lead generation services, I know that there are five key steps that someone needs to take, that someone needs to follow in order to use cold emails to actually sign clients. So what are those five steps? Well, those five steps might be step one, someone needs to go out, go out and set up the cold email infrastructure. So buy all the domains, set up the domain, set up the email account, set up the sending software. Step two is scraping the email leads list. Step three is putting together the actual cold email campaign. So writing the cold email copy, putting together the VSL, putting together the overall cold email campaign. Step four is replying back to leads. And step five is the day-to-day -day management. So if I know that those are the key five steps that someone needs to take in order to book sales calls using cold emails, inside of my video sales letter, I'm gonna be going over each of these five steps and teaching people, number one, what, the, what each of these steps are in detail. I'll be explaining to people what the step actually is. I'll be showing people how to actually do the actual step explaining why that step is important to the overall process, to the overall outcome, to the overall goal, and then what will happen if someone skips over the steps or doesn't implement it correctly. So I'm going over each of these five steps, and for each of these steps, I'm doing each of these things. And as someone who is watching through your VSL, your goal is to get them to think to themselves, wow, this person, he really understands his stuff. He really knows how to set up the cold email infrastructure. Right? You want people to think that. You want people to think, oh, wow, I'm learning something new. I didn't know that you actually need to warm up your email accounts. And if I don't do it, it's just simply not going to work. The last time I did it, I didn't know about warming and I never did it, which is probably why it didn't work. So people need to feel like they're actually learning something new. And finally, people need to feel like, wow, this sounds really, really complicated. I don't want to do this, but I understand that it is crucial to getting results. Wow, setting up the email accounts it sounds like a lot of work. It sounds really hard. It sounds really complicated. I know I have to do this in order to get results with cold emails, but I kind of don't want to do this myself. That's what you need to get people to think to themselves as they're going through the video sales editors. And the best VSLs that I've ever created, that my clients have ever created, that people that I'm working with have ever created, they all hit on all three of these points. And that's what makes the VSL so successful. Now, a common question that I get is how long should the VSL actually be? And the answer is the VSL should be as long as it needs to, as long as it makes sense. So if a VSL, if you're putting together a VSL for yourself and it's 10 minutes long, it's 13 minutes long, it's less than 20 minutes, there is a 99% chance that you're simply not going into enough detail and the viewer who's watching through that video will just simply not get the value they need in order to go through that sales process and convert their interest into people who actually want to pay you money, right? I've seen a lot of VSLs and a lot of people create like 15 minute long VSLs. And when I watch that video sales letter, it's almost never 
going into enough detail. People are just summarizing what things, what, what they need to do in order to get results or this and that, right? And that's not the type of video that will convert people who don't know who you are into people who want to pay you money, right? It's just simply not going into enough detail if it's under 20 minutes. And that's just the truth. And all of my highest converting VSLs, all of my clients' highest converting VSLs are usually all over 45 minutes, right? And maybe that sounds like a long time. Maybe you're watching this video right now and you're hearing me say, oh, well, your VSL should be longer than 20 minutes. It's longer than 45 minutes. You're saying to yourself, well, no one's gonna watch the uh, 45 minute video of me talking about XYZ. Well, the truth is people will watch a 45 minute video if it's actually genuinely valuable and worth their time. So for even for me, right? I get a lot of direct data on this. I post a lot of long YouTube videos on my channel teaching people how to do X, Y, Z, how to teach people how to do cold emails, build the lead generation agency. I have like a three hour long video teaching people how to build a lead generation agency. And I look at the data and a lot of people actually watch through the majority of that three hour long video. Obviously not everyone because things come up and a three hour long video is a very extreme example. Three hours is completely different than 45 minutes, right? But I still get a very solid amount of people to watch through the vast majority of the video, maybe like two and a half hours long, two hours and 45 minutes. In many cases, the full three hours. And the reason why that people stick around is because I'm genuinely giving value. I'm making it worth their time. That's the key. If, if you're making a 45 minute long VSL, if it's worth someone's time, people will watch through the vast majority of your video sales letter. So here's the good part, the actual VSL script that you want to follow in order to build out your own video sales letter. I'm not gonna just leave you hanging, tell you what to do, and don't show you how to actually do it. I'm gonna share with you the VSL script that you want to use as you are creating your own video sales letter, right? So in terms of the VSL script, the very first thing you need to do is come up with a headline. This should be your offer. As example, for me, right? If I am working with recruitment agencies, I'm literally gonna say inside of my headline how recruitment agencies can sign three to five new clients in the next 90 days by building an automated cold email system. And the most important part about the headline is you need to be specific. You need to call out whoever it is that you are trying to sell to. So I see a lot of VSLs that a lot of people create. And the number one thing that people get wrong is they do not call out who they are working with. So they just come up with how you can sign three to five clients in the next 90 days. That's literally what most people do. You need to be specific. How marketing agency agent, how marketing agencies can do X, Y, and Z. How recruitment agencies can do X, Y, and Z. How software companies can do one, two, three. You need to be hyper specific. Again, right? Relevancy is key. The next part is the what you're actually talking about, the overall topic of the video. You need to reaffirm to people that they clicked on your video and they're actually gonna get value, right? Because people are just clicking onto your video and they don't know what you are talking about. So it's very important that in the first 30 seconds, you reaffirm to them. So in this video, you will learn how to add cold emails into your business that allows you to do X, Y, Z. Or as an example, inside the structure I wrote, in this video, you will learn how I added cold emails into my own business that allowed me to generate sales calls on demand and sign clients. Right, So you need to reaffirm that in literally the first 30 seconds to the first 60 seconds. Otherwise, you will see your drop-off rate just plummet. Right, People just click off the video because they feel like you click-baited them into the video. So after that, you want to do a little bit of qualifying. So in this video, this video is going to be relevant for you if you run a recruitment business, if you want to add XYZ, if you want to achieve XYZ goals, if you have the capacity to do one, two, three. So qualifying questions. But... This video is not for everyone. This video is not for you if number one, you don't run a recruitment business. So if you run a marketing agency, this video is not for you because this will work only for recruitment agencies. This will not be for you if you don't have the capacity to sign new clients. If you don't want more clients, where obviously this obviously is not gonna work, right? This is not for you if you don't believe that cold emails work. This is not for you if you don't think cold emails is legal. If you feel like cold emails is just spamming people or it breaks rules or it breaks laws, 
this video is not for you. So the reason you want to add this section is because not every single person, since you're putting this video on the internet, there's going to be random people who just come across the video, they'll click the video, they'll watch it. And you don't want to be wasting your time with people on a sales call if they're not that serious, right? That's the goal, right? The goal of the VSL is to get people to book a sales call. But on the sales call, it takes time. If you are take, closing your own deals or you have a salesperson closing your own deals, right? There's a very strong chance if you're watching this video, you're closing your own deals, your time is valuable, right? You don't want to hop on a call with someone and you figure out that they think cold emails won't work for their business and it's illegal because you're never going to sell someone on the vehicle if they don't already believe that it is possible, right? That's just simply not going to be a good use of your time. So you want to disqualify people as much as possible upfront to make sure that the people who do continue watching, who do continue booking a sales call and who do continue going through your sales process are people you genuinely can work with and people you want to work with, right? So that's key. After that, you want to add in a quick little intro kind of as to who you are. So don't ramble on for 10 minutes about, hey, so my name is Jim Fung. I am this person. I live in Canada. I'm 24 years old. I do boom, 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 boom. Don't ramble like that. Be specific. Say something like, so in case we haven't met yet, my name is Jim Fung. You know, obviously I'm going to have an image of myself. I'm the founder of salesway.io. It's a lead generation agency for recruitment agencies. And in this video, I'll be showing you all the steps you need to take in order to build out an automated cold email system. So you see how even in my example, I was very quick with it. If you're watching this video and you built other businesses before, or you have experience with cold emails or the specific service that you're selling, come up with a story, build a story, a sales story as to how you realized that it was important and how you decided that you want to work with other businesses to help them build this out, right? But that's only if you have relevant experience, right? If you don't have any relevant experience, just be as specific as you can, such as this specific example over here. Now, the next step, this part, the steps is the meat of the VSL. If your VSL is, let's, let's say 45 minutes long, this part is going to take up 85% of that time. And this is where people will get the value from your actual video sales letter because you're talking about the step-by-step -step process and you're teaching people how everything works. So again, you are teaching people and focusing on giving people the actual sauce. You're providing real value, not high level explanations where people just don't learn anything or high level explanations that people could literally just search on Google and figure it out on their own with a 10 second Google search, right? You could also want to leverage like different illustrations or videos or whatever it is to keep the viewer engaged and to be, to just explain your service much better and the steps in a more engaging way so that it's just not as boring and people actually watch the video and they're somewhat entertained, right? So as an example, in the steps, right? You want, you, you obviously want to repeat for as many steps as that you have that we just outlined earlier in this video, in this training, but you first want to talk about what the step actually is and how do you actually implement it? How do you set up the cold email infrastructure and how can someone go out and set up domains, set up email accounts, set up the sending software and do it themselves? Why is this step important? Well, you want to warm your email accounts because if you don't warm your email accounts, all of the emails that you send will just go into spam, meaning it's just simply not going to work. So this will help explain why this step is important and why someone needs to follow it. And then what happens if you don't do this step or you do it wrong? Well, if you decide to skip the email warming process or you listen to what I'm saying and you are like, oh yeah, this is gonna take too long. It's gonna take 14 days. I don't wanna do it. I'm just gonna start sending cold emails right off the bat. Well, what will happen is this system just simply won't work. You're just gonna waste your time. You're gonna waste your money. You're gonna waste all your effort it took to set everything up. So you wanna explain what will happen if the viewer watches through the process and just skips the step because they're lazy or they don't want to do it. That's what you wanna do and to explain each of the individual steps. And if you do this process correctly, you're gonna get people to think to themselves, wow, this guy's the expert and I don't want to do this by myself. I wanna work with this guy. I wanna pay this guy money to help me build out the system. That's what will happen if you, if you implement the step-by-step -step process that I'm sharing with you over here the right way and you do it exactly as it is inside of this training. So we're moving on to the next step and this will be towards the end of your video sales editor and it is what's called the next step. So you want to say something along the lines. So that's about it. If you watch through this entire video and implement everything I share with you here today, you will be able to go out and get XYZ result. 
you will be able to go out and build an automated cold email system that will land you three to five new high paying clients in the next 90 days. However, building out this process yourself might take you 20 to 30 hours upfront. And once you have it built out, you still need to test, you know, all your email copy, your leads list, your VSL, all of these other things, meaning it might legitimately take you three months, six months, maybe even longer, maybe even a year of you just testing a bunch of different things and not really getting results during that period. Or there's an easier way. If you want to work with someone else, you want to work with an expert where they're able to build out everything I just shared with you in today's video and you don't have to lift a finger, you're able to just sit back, do and focus on what you enjoy doing inside your business, we run a lead generation agency where we work with recruitment agencies, we work with marketing agencies to help them build out the entire cold email system completely done for you, meaning you don't have to lift a finger. Right. And we will build out the whole system for you, blah, 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 blah. And that's how you want to explain it right over here. It's a very important step, right? Cause you're not just going to be teaching people the process and leaving people hanging. You're going to be missing out on a massive opportunity to get people who want to work with you. After you share all the value, you're making your pitch as to why someone wants to work with you. Right. And you're going to explain to them. Yeah, you could go out and do everything, but again, right. It's, it might not work for you. You're going to waste your time. All of these things. It takes a lot of work. It takes a lot of effort, but we can help you do that. That's this part of the pitch where you're making that call to action. And then finally your actual call to action, which is, so if you are looking to build out an automated cold email system and you want to work with someone to build it out for you, completely done for you, then book a book a time using the link in the description, using the link below or reply back to my cold email or click the ad, whatever it is, and set up a time to chat where we'll jump on. We'll see if we can help you. We'll ask you some questions, learn more about your business, learn more about what you sell. And if we can help you do this, then we'll make an offer to work with you and build this out completely for you done for you. So that's your call to action. And that's how you want to position your actual service. So moving on to the final part of this training, which is producing your VSL, producing your video sales letter. So in order to actually create an effective video sales letter, there are a couple aspects that you want to keep in mind. The first is there are two major aspects of your video sales letter. The first is the visual presentation. So what are people seeing on the screen? right? It's, it's a video. What are they looking at? Is it a document? Is it a PowerPoint? Whatever it is, what does that look like? The second is the spoken presentation. So what are they hearing? What are the words that you're using? What are the stories that you're explaining? What is the step-by-step -step process that you are verbally explaining with your words? So for me in the first aspect, which is the visual presentation I've created over at this point, over 150 different VSLs. And I have had success presenting my VSLs using Google docs, using gamma, right? Using notion, using Google slides, PowerPoints, and flowcharts. For me, what I started realizing was usually Google docs, especially if you're explaining things. So similar to what you're seeing in today's video, this is a Google doc, right? They tend to be, they tend to work really, really well because you're able to really explain really complex topics. A lot of people I've tried a lot of different PowerPoints and like Google slides, Canva slides. And while it does work, it's really, really hard to get right. Because inside of a PowerPoint presentation, you can't be including a paragraph. You want to keep your points short. Otherwise people will just lose attention. So I strongly advise you to do a Google doc. You could use a Google slides. You could use a PowerPoint, but there's a very strong chance that you're not going to do it the right way. And people just won't really watch it because you're going to pull up a slide with like 200 words on it. And people by default inside the brain, they're going to look at it and be like, nah, I'm not going to read through this. It's too much work. Right. But I would recommend you doing on a Google doc and inside the Google doc, I would recommend scripting out your entire VSL and using something like loom, which is what I'm using right now to record your screen as you read through your Google doc, which is going to be your script and adding your little side, little commentary here and there. So that's kind of what I'm doing even inside of this video training right now, right? If you think about what I'm doing is I scripted out this entire video. I'm reading through this video. I'm reading through this Google doc and I'm adding my own commentary, my own comments, my own little side tips here and there to keep it conversational. Right. And as a result, this will make it a lot easier to actually produce and put together your video sales letter because a lot of people, maybe you're watching this video and you're just not that comfortable on a camera. Maybe you will butcher some words here and there, but if you are reading, kind of reading from your screen in a non monotone, non boring way, it's going to be way easier to actually film. Even if you don't have any experience, cause you won't feel the need to memorize or, you know, 
remember everything that they say and recite it back out in front of the camera, right? So that's what you want to do, right? And the point is, is you want to create a visual presentation that is actually appealing to people that looks professional. You're selling your service for thousands of dollars. It can't look unprofessional. The next aspect is the spoken presentation. So what you're actually saying and understand that this is again, a video sales letter, it's a video. So there's an aspect of salesmanship involved if you want to make this work really, really well. So how you say something is equally as important as what you actually say. So your tonalities, how confident you sound. So if you're just reading from your Google doc and you're like, so I think in the next step, I think you gotta make, you know, set up your email accounts on Microsoft and warm it up, right? If you say it like that, obviously it's not gonna work because you don't sound confident. But if you say, so in the next step of the process, what you need to do is set up your email accounts using Microsoft Outlook, Microsoft Admin Center, and you are using that to set up your email accounts you're sending out of. So notice the differences, right? One sounds really passive and one sounds a lot more assertive. And obviously, as you are even just listening through this, the assertive tone will work a hundred times, a thousand times better. So you have to understand that's a very important aspect of the VSL, right? Now, the final part is how you look and first impressions play a massive role. So as I'm saying this, you don't need to go out and buy a $1,000 camera. You don't need to go out and buy a $500 mic. You don't have to go out and do all of these things and you know, you know, know, rent a penthouse and sit in front of it or sit in front of a bookcase. You don't have to do any of those things. What you do need to keep in mind is you need to look professional. So for example, if you are doing a job interview, you wouldn't jump onto that Zoom call if it's a virtual job interview, wearing a hoodie with, a, with you know messy bed hair, with your bed, a messy bed in the background and a video game poster in your background. You wouldn't, be, you wouldn't do that because it will give off the worst first impression. And that's the exact same thing with your video sales editor. Keep it professional, wear a nice shirt, do your hair, right? Sit in front of a white wall or a blank wall, whatever the case is, and try to look professional. That's a very important aspect of the video sales letter. So that's it for today's video. Hope you found it valuable. Hope you found it insightful. My goal when I put together this video is so that I can share everything with you and so that you can go, go out on your own and build a video sales letter inside of your business and ultimately book more sales calls, sign more clients and make more money. Now I do have a consulting program where I work with people who are looking to start their own lead generation agency and scale it to $10,000 per month in the next 90 days. It's a hands-on one-to-one consulting program. It's not a course. And if you are interested in working with me to start your own lead generation agency, then the first link in the description below will take you to a page. There's a video on that that kind of explains how I could help you. And there's an option to schedule a call to chat with me or someone with my team to see of how all of this actually works. So if you are interested, then use the first link in the description. The second link in the description is a full step-by-step -step lead generation agency full course that I published onto YouTube, which will teach you how you can start and scale your own lead generation agency. It's completely free. But that's basically what I wanted to share in today's video. Hope you found it valuable. If you did, make sure you drop me a like, make sure you drop me a subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.